exalted plains have been soaked in too much unexalted blood. Mud and water and suddenly brushed against my leg. <laughs> Shut it. I'm right. It's wrong and horrible.
worse.
Inquisitor.
exactly not the type. I forget how these things are supposed to work. You don't forget anything. And you notice. That's why we
Who's there? Don't come any closer. We have swords. Get some sense. We're the heroes. I'm with the Inquisition. I'm not here to hurt anyone. The Inquisition? Here? Forgive me, I should have known. Good day. Good day to you. Commander Jihan, in service of Her Imperial Majesty. Long may she reign. My men inform me that the Citadel's defenses are deactivated. I cannot thank you enough. I found one of your soldiers at the Eastern Ramparts. She wanted you to have this. Fabian's ring. She is gone then. I hoped, I prayed that she yet lived. Thank you, I... I will make sure this gets to her family. Tell me about the situation here. There were orders. A chance for peace, they said. Pull back, they said. So we did. Then the Arden dead appeared. We couldn't hold them back. I told my men to activate the fort's defenses. A foolish move, born of desperation. There was so much about the old elven magic we never knew. We couldn't control it. We retreated, but not everyone made it through the gates. I couldn't. I couldn't save them. We've been trapped for weeks. Supplies were incoming, but who knows what happened to them. I must take my leave. Good day, Inquisitor. We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Celine's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Celine outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known, just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide 
than the Empress's own household. How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlay falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we meet at last. I've heard so much about you. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. You're a woman after my own heart, my lady. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? What? Pardon me, my lady. Have you seen a ring anywhere? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. That's a terrible predicament. If the Countess finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. What am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? Gaspar never struck me as pious. 
must think he gains military advantage for the Inquisition. It's been too long. Where has that servant gone? Elves, always shirking their duties. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Especially Sarah. Maybe tell her twice. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. Is that the Inquisitor? A martyr? The Maker has an odd sense of humor. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Trevelyan, daughter of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Hereldon, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. He is so full of it. That's not how it went. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? <gasps> Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, renowned author, Varric Thethris. Head of Noble House Thethris. De Cousin. My dear sister. Grand Duke. We are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauties. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Lilat, how are my mind, Papa? Are they... Can you believe the Inquisition really is perfectly happy to see you? 
must know that will end badly. What were they? You always take her side. I don't. Josephine. Oh, Josephine. Is this her? Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Is it true? Those stories are little more than wistful thinking, my lady. Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been then. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette! That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without Beats more squire. I said sure. that it wasn't renovations at all. The Extra palace toes. was damaged by Gaspar. What a fun, close marrying crowd. He fired on the Winter Palace? That's monstrous. Making any new friends? <laughs> Not likely. I'm watching them watch you. They're all glances and titters. Not sure if they're allowed to like you yet. Pathetic. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants ferrying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Briada is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Back soon. Not going anywhere. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court, as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. 
When the circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Lady Soleron was the... Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Did you just... Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Shiral, Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the Great Game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. You spoke of Lady Cambian's shoes earlier. Shouldn't you be focused on other things? Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. We'll talk later. I await your signal. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. The one of the garden, statuette.
I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the Elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself, for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however. And the servants have been happy to refill my glass? I'll be back. And well. Gaspar is wasting his time. Interesting. Good to know. I should look around. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Another time, my lord. Get this place. Did you hear what Gaspar said to Philippe Duke should have Germain. returned hours ago. He's dallying with some serving girl while I deal Germain with Gaspar. his betrayal. nephew's spite better than the rest of the council. Did you see that panicked attaché roaming about? I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance. Well, well. What's this? You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. My lady, 
My Lady Inquisitor. May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it.
That's the bell. I should get back to the ballroom. Are all the denouncies here? Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does can... You should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in there. Hmm. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith, delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. This could be worth checking out. It's crap. What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? Assassins are a shy lot. Can't have dangerous bakers raising alarms. Food was good too, bastards. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere.
This was no servant. What was he doing here? This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? That would appear to be Grand Duke Gaspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Venatory agents! That must be the Venatory leader. Watching this approach, they're organized. Fancy meeting you here. So, you're Inquisitor Trevelyan. I'm surprised they got you sobered up and dressed for this party. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it.
You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Every single major player has tried to bribe you tonight. In Orlay, that means you've officially arrived. Call it politics or the game or whatever. That's personal hate. Huh. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. Some of those might have gone a bit far. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Inquisitor Trevelyan. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlais, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... A certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? It doesn't matter where you're from, Your Grace. Everyone knows what's happening in the Empire. I... I often forget about the world outside of the Imperial Court. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. 
Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? I only trust the Inquisition. It's every woman for herself here in the Imperial Court. Or so I've heard. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. If you know something, tell me. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. We came here to save Selene. Then you must not only save her life, but also her empire. That means giving her a victory over both Gaspard and Briala. If there truly is proof Gaspard's in league with Corypheus, that would be a start. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. around to look through the Empress's unmentionables now. Just how drunk are you, boss?
Thank you. Are you all right? I'm... I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace? Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What happened here? You paid it on lazy and assholes! Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. You're Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. At this point, I think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. 
In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Stinking punsy cheesemongers. I need you to tell that to the Empress. We're after one assassin, right? Should the rest just queue up? Do these people ever not stab each other in the back? Just curious. Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? 
At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! Now! For Corypheus, kill them all! Cullen, protect the people! Yes, Inquisitor. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimond. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? We have the palace. Surrender, Your Grace. You don't have to die today. <laughs> Surrender? Now? Oh, you poor deluded thing. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. 
I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I have the instructions you sent your general to sneak men into the palace in preparation for an attack. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? And his mercenary captain will be happy to tell you all their plans for the coup tonight. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No, it seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. <laughs> Is that all? You're too kind, Céline. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orlé owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orlé will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Our enemy is clever. He manipulated the highest ranking members of the court. If we want victory, we will have to fight him in more ways than one. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> 
Then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orlais and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? It's time to head back to Skyhold. Of course. It will be good to go home. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Sika Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready.
First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. There is worth and weight in every judgment, no matter how unusual. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... Oh, forgive me, there is an order. <clears throat> Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon? Guilty. Your claims are forfeit. I assume, Josephine, this is enough? Quite, Inquisitor. And again, my apologies. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Celine will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. This is an Illuvian. An elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this. There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where? Does it lead?
If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of Fade Rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? It's in the past. I care more about the future. Then let's pray something like this never happens again. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. You've tangled with the Freemen of the Dales before. They have a presence here. Watch your back, Inquisitor.
bowmen. Ask them if they want arrows, or maybe tell them. Fairbanks is expecting you as Inquisitor, please listen. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the Freemen are colluding with your enemy. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the Freemen bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the Freemen, and they'll lead you straight to the Red Templars. This, I promise. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freemen is right here, in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition.
Vivi nel campo. Keep your hands and weapons to yourself. Is there at least a movement to reunite Orzammar and Kalsharak? What is it with you, Chuckles? Why do you care so much about the dwarves? Once, in the Fade, I saw the memory of a man who lived alone on an island. Most of his tribe had fallen to beasts or disease. His wife had died in childbirth. He was the only one left. He could have struck out on his own, to find a new land, a new people. But he stayed. He spent every day catching fish in a little boat every night drinking fermented fruit juice and watching the stars. Huh. I can think of worse lives. How can you be happy surrendering, knowing it'll all end with you? How can you not fight? I suppose it depends on the quality of the fermented fruit juice. So it seems.
take advantage of chaos to further their own cause. had a key. It's over there. in here another second. and dwarves into their ranks? Tunari too, I imagine. They don't care about titles or blood, just stopping the blight. A pity they do it so badly, then. But give them some credit. It's not like you can study the blight safely. I may not like everything they've done, but without the Wardens, we'd all be blighted by now. They've bought us some time. I will grant them that.
must be something here. Part of a key. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. That seems to be the last of them. We've struck a blow against the Freeman. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Lyrian. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Still missing something.
So here's where they kept the good stuff. Got to be something here.
help strengthen the veil. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. What is your opinion of the Civil War? When I quarrel with my cousin, wine is spilled. Perhaps someone loses a tooth. When Celine feuds with hers, a country is torn apart. It's over now. But it will take years to recover from the damage. I need to be going. Good day, then. Any news, Inquisitor? The Freemen have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the Freemen gone, we can find a proper home. Argon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. I need to be going. I'll be here.
stop doing that. Certainly. What was it? I can hear how you're looking at me. You're doing that thing where you describe what we're doing. Narration, and you can hear how I'm looking? That's the thing. Just stop it. I will try my best not to do 